Breaking news, the X62 chipset that supports the new 5G phase two rollouts are here. Come along with us and we'll tell you all about it. Now, before we get started, I want to mention to everybody that these devices are available for pre-order. And unlike most cases, these are actually coming in relatively quickly. We have exclusive information that tells us that the Max BR2 dual 5G that's in the X62 variant should be here inside of a week. Check our listing page for details. And the BR1 Pro, the single 5G version, should be here in about a uh, little less than two weeks. So they're coming in fast. We are accepting pre-orders at mobilemusthave.com and I will share links below. You can also search on mobilemusthave.com, just type in X62. We have a collection there and it'll show you the devices that are eligible for this update. Now we're not gonna get into a bunch of the super technical stuff around the X62 in this video. We're gonna leave that to our friends at the Mobile Internet Resource Center, Chris and Cherie and the rest of the team who are developing a news story update right now on the release of these products. We'll link to that as well below. Giving you a high level understanding of the X62 and why you may be interested in upgrading to the latest generation 5G modems inside of these devices. Well, the X62 has more advanced features for connecting to the latest 5G technologies. What a lot of folks refer to as 5G phase two. With the X62, what that means is that you can connect to mid-band and low-band 5G frequencies at the same time. And it supports carrier aggregation or kind of multiple connections to the cell tower at the same time with up to three connections. What this should mean for most customers is better performance overall, but also better performance in low 5G signal areas because of the ability to combine that mid and low band frequency at the same time. The Max BR1 Pro and the Max BR2 Pro are largely unchanged other than the X62 upgrades under the hood. If you're looking at these two devices, what you can do to tell the difference is look at the model number. The X62s will be designated with a 5G N model number and the X55s will be designated with the 5GH model number here in the US. Some customers are asking us if they should be waiting for the X65 chipset, not the X62. And really the X62 and the 65 are in the same family. The X65 is really more designed for cell phones and for devices that support millimeter wave 5G technology with mobile routers typically do not. Millimeter wave is really for like urban environments, NASCAR stadiums, stuff with ultra short distance, high bandwidth applications, uh, not something typically used in mobile router applications. So what you're gonna see is the X62 in mobile routers and the X65 in phones. Thank you guys so much for watching this brief news update. Again, make sure to check out the links below. On the listing page, you can also check out our detailed analysis page where we put additional links from our friends at the Mobile Internet Resource Center to give you all the technical specs on all of this stuff as well as the latest breaking news on the technology. You can also set up a consultation with us at talk.mobilemusthave.com to speak to an expert to discuss how we might be able to solve some of your mobile challenges while you're on the road. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you on the road.